Hey guys, it's been one week since I've been back on track and I would say um, it's going pretty well, could be better, but I have an explanation and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So I did weigh in this morning and it's pretty much the same weight, I'm 178.2, so technically I went up 0.2, but the reason is because I did splurge a little this week knowing that next week I am starting to train for a bikini competition. Yep, I finally just bit the bullet and did it and signed up with the coach and everything. I've talked about this a few times on my channel. But what I really wanna do is the transformation challenge. And then since I'm there, I might do like one of the bikini novice or debut groups uh, or categories as well. But mainly focused on that transformation one. I start this week, like I'm 20 weeks out. I feel like it's not a lot of time, but definitely enough to make a pretty big difference. And I'm gonna stay focused on my workouts and my macros and my coach is going to you know, tell me everything to do. So I'm not meeting with her in person. Uh, it's all gonna be done online and through an app that I can you know, post what I'm eating and um, she can you know, post what I'm, how I wanna say this? She's going to put on the app for my profile like what I should be eating macro wise, what my workouts are gonna be, and all I have to do is go on and just follow it and then uh, weigh in every day. And I'm gonna send her progress pictures every two weeks and we're just gonna like adjust the macros as we go. But yeah, I'm just really excited to have something like this. Uh, even though it's gonna be challenging and I have to be really disciplined, it's going to just you know, keep me busy, keep me focused on, you know, me again and not the past and other things, you know, that I've recently gone through and I just get to do me. So although I tried to eat uh, well on some days this past week, I also, you know, went out and celebrated with some friends and ate a little extra, you know, Italian food, <laughs> pizza, garlic rolls. I, I just knew that I was gonna have to like kind of say bye to all that for the next few months. Uh, so I did go all out uh, a few of those days. But I am glad that I was able to kind of hold the same weight. And now uh, we're gonna start. That's pretty much it. I know it's kind of a quick video. I was really busy this weekend. I had drill. Uh, to those of you that don't know what I do for career, I'm in the Navy, I'm active duty. So I was active duty a long time ago and then I got out, I was out for 10 years, just going to college and you know, just living life, getting fat. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we took care of that. Once I lost the weight, I actually rejoined, but for the reserves. And then while I was in the reserves, I found out about another category of the military where you can actually be active duty again, but you are in full support of the reservists. So you work at different reserve um, stations and that's where the reservists will come the one weekend a month that they have to drill. We're just there for them as like a staff uh, and we man that building all week. So I work full time, I'm active duty and um, so I'll do like Monday through Friday and then I still have to work like that one weekend a month that the reservists come as well. But to compensate for the two extra days that I work during the month, we'll also take like two weekdays off. So yeah, so when I was a reservist, I got introduced to that position and I was told that only a few of those positions come out uh, every few months. And if I wanted it, I had to apply for it. And so I got the word that there were some positions available. I applied, I got it, and now I'm back active duty, which is so great. Um, and the best thing about this position or this category of active duty is you don't have to necessarily deploy or be on a ship again. So I already lived that life once before for four years when I was in the Navy a long time ago. And I really just kind of wanted to stay away from that. It was fun, I was in my early 20s, but it's not something I want to do anymore at age 37 <laughs> when you know, in the future, I'd like to have a family and kids and all that. I think that lifestyle would just like make it really difficult. So I still do have to move every four years, um, but I'll always work in a building like I'm working now, um, just in direct support of the reservist or, um, or even like warehouses maybe where um, a lot of parts are coming in and out because I'm an LS, it stands for logistics specialist. Uh, so I work in supply. Um, so it could be like anything along those lines as well. So I'm working at the reserve station that I was a reservist at and waiting to see what my next reserve station is. And that's been going on for a while now and I've been hoping to stay in Florida. I'm just not quite ready 
to figure out where I want to live. You don't get many choices, but you can talk to a detailer over the phone and just kind of let her know what you what you really want. She might give you like three choices and it's really just based on what the Navy really needs. Um, but they try to work with you too to see which of those you would prefer. Um, so I was hoping something in Florida would come up and thank God it did. So I actually did get my orders and it's only gonna be about like an hour in the other direction from where I live. So I'll be able to stay here or you know maybe rent the house and move closer to where I'm gonna be stationed. But yeah, it's definitely a relief to not have to worry about moving uh, anytime soon, at least for the next couple years. And then we'll, we'll go from there. We'll see where I end up. But yeah, so that's a little bit about what I do. I'm just really, really excited, not stressing and worried about anybody else or any direction that I feel like I'm being pulled in. It's just me, you know, reconnecting with me again. I'm really interested in learning about the science behind macros, just diving a little deeper into that world. You know, it was easy for me to lose the bulk of my weight by just cutting out the carbs and increasing my fat so I enjoyed my food and now, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm starting to gain weight. I'm kind of eating too much fat. Maybe I'm not eating enough carbs because I want to build muscle. So, you know, there's all these things I need to learn now and I want to share those with you as I learn them. It's going to be a discovery in many ways uh, and I'm just excited for this journey to continue and continue this commitment to my health journey, to you guys, and most of all, just to myself. Yeah, next video will be a lot more interesting because I'll show you some foods I'm eating. We'll talk about macros a little bit and my workouts and all that. And we'll just see how my first week's going. I'm so excited to share this news with you guys. Thank you for your support, for your kind words, and uh, just stick in here with me uh, throughout my absences. <laughs> but I'm back and I'm ready and I'm signed up with my coach. So it's really happening. 20 weeks. See you next week. Bye. 176.2 it's so crazy because it's only a day later um, I'm really glad they're having me weigh in every day so I can see these little accomplishments um, but I guess my body just kind of processed the rest of that Italian food and margaritas I have been eating really well the past few days uh, so yeah all right feeling back feeling ready yeah, let's do it let's do it